Well, you guys uh, practiced indoors today. What was that like? Uh, you know, the weather it didn't really allow us to go outside, so uh, no sudden change. Uh, we don't flinch. Um, we were able to accomplish everything we needed to get done in the uh, rec center, so um, it's good energy, good effort still, so you know, good practice. That uh, Bayer loss was uh, kind of lopsided. You guys put that behind you. What, what's the mood like around the team? Uh, yeah, you have to. I mean, when you take a loss like that, um, you realize the mistakes you made. Um, it wasn't a very good game for us, obviously, um, but you know, you put it past yourselves and the team and you just go out next week and compete because one game isn't going to define your whole season so that's our mentality right now. A couple weeks in how are you feeling about your own play individually? Uh, I think I'm doing okay some things I need to work on still uh, pass protection um, running more effectively whenever I get the opportunities to do so um, so yeah just ready to clean up everything. Are you feeling fully healthy or is that still a process for you? Um, I'm feeling good I'm feeling like I'm able to play 100 um, percent Toe still nags here and there, but it's not hindering me and my abilities or anything like that. So, um, just playing through. Anything you do to try to get that closer to 100 percent? Like you have to ease off at sometimes, or maybe lighter practice day here or there. Or? No, I mean this is one of the things you just kind of got to fight through. Um, it's gonna heal on its own in due time. Um, I'm in the training room every day. Um, the training staff is doing a great job of, of getting me to be able to be able to play. Um, so it's, it's just a process I'm gonna have to keep going through. And um, like I said, training staff doing a good job. You mentioned pass protection. What's your impression on how you've handled that role so far? Uh, I think overall the backs have done a pretty good job. Um, there's still some looks and some some things we need to cover, um, but that's what the practice week is for. We're getting that cleaned up. Um, you know, Army brings pressures um, every other play, so we're gonna have to be stout and ready in the pass game and, and pass protection. Is your responsibility in that way any different because you have such a multi quarterback in Frank? Uh, no, no. Uh, you know, um, whenever Frank decides to run, it's, it's usually not designed runs, you know what I'm saying? So um, pass protection is pass protection. If they call pass protection for us, we have to be able to answer the bell and protect. Um, the ideal goal is for Frank not to have to run, but, you know, to be able to extend plays is a, is a big part of what he does. So um, still being able to protect downfield and allowing him to, to make those reads and make those passes is critical for the passing game. Which of your backs is the best pass protector? Uh, we're all working on it. We're all, we're all getting good at it. Um, we don't want to have to rely on just one back. We don't want to have to switch backs in and out for specific things like that. So we're all just really taking the strides in the right direction. And our coach, um, Coach Rishaw, is getting us, getting us really good at pass protections and, and reading the blitzes and, and just the technique part of it. So um, him being a former old lineman, it helps us with the little techniques and stuff like that. When Frank scrambles or escapes the pocket and you guys are in pass protection, are you just like looking for somebody down the field to put a hat on, or how does that work for you? Just get a body on the body and help the quarterback as best as you can. That's that's really our pass protection. Brendan and Frank, uh, Coach Olson said it's, it's almost like running back by committee. It seems like you guys are all getting you know reps throughout the game. Yeah. Is is that difficult to kind of get into a flow of the game, or what's what, what's it like trying to, to work through that? It's not because there's no really fall off or drop off um, between backs. Um, like you, like Coach just said, we all have different styles and everything, so we all play in, in different situations. But um, whenever the next guy goes in, there's no drop off. So we really like to keep that flow going all the time. What about a sincere McCormick? He's come in as a true freshman. Mm -hmm. It's like he's kind of almost burst onto the scene. Is yeah. that is that kind of a fair analysis? Of yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, I've seen and, and I know what he's capable of doing. I've seen it all throughout high school and even uh, spring ball and fall camp. So um, he's really, really improved as a back and um, is getting the play time he rightfully deserves. So um, he, he's, he's a good back for us and, and it really helps, helps out the backfield. What's his sort of attitude and reaction been like to having some early success? How has that impacted him in practice? Well, he's a pretty humble guy, so just going out there and competing and never never quitting on any of the plays that he's in because he's taking advantage of all those snaps that he's getting and really making the most of them. So I'm proud of him, and I'm just going to continue to support him. How about Devin Boston? What has he brought to your running backs group? Um, you know, Devin Boston, he's a 220-plus pound back. He brings a lot of size, physicality to the position. Um, so, like, whenever we're in short yards or things like that and we need those tough yards, he, he's a good back for that because he, he runs forward, good body lean, good body position. So, um, like I said, we all bring something different, and that's one of the things he uh, contributes to the team. Both you and S Sincere caught a lot of passes out of the backfield in week one. Is that something you think we're going to see the rest of the season? Um, I feel like it's just kind of how, how the plays break down, how the plays work. Um, you know, if, if somebody's in trouble, a quarterback's in trouble, to have that option to you know just flick somebody the ball and get yards on a play that could have been a negative yard play is huge. So it just it just keeps plays alive. And running backs, we have to be able to pass protect them when we're out and, and get options to get the ball. We got to catch them and make the most of them. So that's that's really what we're doing here.
Are there a lot more option elements in the offense this year compared to last year? Do you see a difference in that way? Um, I wouldn't say so much more, but you know, Frank being as dynamic as he is of a playmaker, um, you want to give him chances to, to make big plays for our team because that's ultimately what, what he's supposed to do. So um, just him making big plays, that's really it. Cool. Right, Brandon. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man. Appreciate